The 1970s were admittedly a dark time for cocktail culture. I know because that's when I began my bartending journey. I was a little hesitant to make the golden dream for you for fear it, you know, it'd just be as nasty and cloying as similar drinks of its time. But I gotta tell you, the golden dream is actually delicious. The alcoholic version of that classic frozen treat for grown-ups. There are, as often happens, a few versions of how the Golden Dream came to be. One story places the drink's origins in Florida, when a female bartending competition was held in a local watering hole. One of the participants came up with the Golden Dream, which later won the competition. <laughs> Sounds a little vague to me, don't you think? We don't know what bar the competition was held at, or who won it for that matter. Another contender for the creation of the Golden Dream cocktail was Leroy Caron. He created the Golden Dream back in 1959 for a U.S. cocktail competition sponsored by the United Kingdom Bartenders Guild. Caron beat out 62 other fellow bartenders and well, he got an award of $1,000 as well as a trip to London. Another story says the Golden Dream was invented in the 1960s by a man named Rumundo Alvarez, who worked at the Old King Bar in Miami, Florida. The drink was dedicated to actress Joan Crawford. Perhaps she was, for Romundo, a kind of unattainable dream, maybe? <laughs> a golden dream? Yeah, Joan Crawford. Remember Mommy Dearest with Faye Dunaway as Joan Crawford? It was a memoir written by Christina Crawford, the adopted daughter of actress Joan Crawford. Published in 1978 and made into a movie in 81, it attracted a lot of controversy for its portrayal of Joan Crawford as an unbalanced, abusive, and alcoholic mother. But you know, the simplest and most probable version of the origin is that someone, somewhere, in the 1960s made a slight modification to the already popular Golden Cadillac cocktail. The Golden Dream is different though. It's a sweet, frothy, dessert-styled cocktail with a fabulous orange herbal tang. Let's make one. Maybe two. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is start with some Galliano Lothentico. Yeah, Galliano Lothentico. It's a lovely, lovely product. Uh, really, really difficult. Well, you actually, you can't even get it here where I live in Ontario. Um, you can get uh, Galliano Vanilla. <laughs> no, you can't get it, because it's empty. Fear not. Always got a backup. <laughs> Gotta have a backup. Anyway, we are going to make uh, this uh, golden dream with one ounce of uh, Galliano Lefentico. Look at the color of that, eh? It's golden already. <laughs> yeah, it is. We're gonna follow that up with one ounce of Cointreau. Now we're gonna get our juices going, right? Slide that out of the side and pop it. An orange, just a simple, simple orange. Um, we're just gonna press. And we want the same amount. We want one ounce of orange juice. Fresh, fresh orange juice. Not from concentrate, no. Use fresh because it just tastes so much better. So we want one ounce. I've got more than an ounce there. And I'm gonna just fine strain this. Look at the color of that too, that's beautiful. Oh, oh, did I get an ounce? I did get an ounce, right on the money, honey. <laughs> yeah, right on the money, honey. Into our cocktail glass it goes. 
To this, we are going to add just a half an ounce of cream. This is a half and half. You could use heavier cream. You could use lighter cream. You could use milk, but you could use almond milk. Um, you could use soy milk. You could use any of those non-dairy uh, uh, substitutes. But half and half, I find, is uh, it just works really well. It's not that heavy. It's not that light. It's just right on the money. Half an ounce, beauty. Okay. All we want to do is uh, add some ice. How are we shaking today, Aaron? Golden. <laughs> Golden. Dreamy. No, shake it dreamy. Dreamy. <laughs> you look high. <laughs> I'm always high. Pop a lid on and shake it. Uh, shake it golden. Golden dreamy. Give it a good shake. Get her everything nice and combined. Beautiful. Now I have in my freezer a martini glass that is chilling. I'm, I'm just gonna go get it, okay? Yeah, look at that baby. The glass looks like it's right out of the 1970s anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All we're gonna do is fine strain our golden dream into this chilled martini glass. Beautiful, look at that, look at that. That's nice. Now, traditionally, there was never a garnish uh, for this golden dream cocktail, but, but I think we should try it anyway. I'm not getting that much or, well, a little orange. Wow. That is tangy. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, ooh. It is like the creamsicles that you used to eat as a kid, but the uh, Galliano Lefentico has a real, um, a real strong anise flavor. So you get that little little hint of licorice floating in the background. The orange from the Cointreau, the orange from the fresh orange. It's just delightful. That is a really easy going uh, cocktail. I don't think it was invented in the 70s. <laughs> As in the 70s, it would have tasted like <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay, let's make a second version. I'm just curious as punch to see what Galliano vanilla tastes like in this cocktail. So, let's do that. Oh, oh, fresh bottle. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I love that sound. Actually, it's my second favorite sound in, uh, in the bar world, opening a fresh bottle. My favorite sound is clinking ice in a glass. One ounce of Galliano Vanilla. I'm curious just to know how this is gonna turn out. Again, one ounce of Cointreau. Our orange juice, which is gonna, <laughs> gonna take a bit here. Pretty darn close. Fine strain that. Oh yeah, we got an ounce. Right on the money, honey. Okay. In our pot I go. And our cream, just a half an ounce. Same recipe. Shake it. <laughs> Creamy. Dreaming. Dreaming of a better life. Yeah. A better life for all. Another chilled martini glass. And again, we're just going to fine strain this into our chilled martini glass. Sweet. Okay. 
All right, let's give this a go. Oh, I'm getting vanilla right off the bat with a little bit of orange. Oh, interesting. Huh. Wow. Two completely different drinks, seriously, seriously. I'm actually swaying towards the Galliano vanilla because of that vanilla uh, tone just sort of in the background is lovely. This is more dessert style than this with the Lothentico. Wow. But then, but then the Lothentico with the anise going on makes it um, a little more kick-ass. <laughs> but this, this one here with the Galliano vanilla uh, tends to be smoother. It's definitely smoother. Anyway, there they, ooh, what if I mix them together? <laughs> Just a little bit of the Lothentico into the uh, vanilla Galliano. You're crazy, Bruce. You're crazy. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Always cocktailing. Just saying. Actually, that's nice. But seriously, I prefer... Where the hell is it? I prefer the Golden Dream made with Galliano vanilla. It's just smoother. Uh, the vanilla... The vanilla palette coming through nicely. The Lothendico is nice. I mean, I mean, seriously, one of the reasons why this had a little bit more kick to it was that this is 42.3% alcohol volume, uh, where this is only 30. So there's a difference right there. That's one difference. And this is really strong with vanilla flavoring. Um, yeah, either or is delicious, but this is more dessert style for sure. Maybe I like it better because uh, Galliano vanilla is all I can get where I live here in Ontario. Um, this was uh, gifted to me by, uh, what was it, Viv's, uh, Viv's cousin, who was in Spain. This came from Spain, oh my God. But you can't get vanilla, well, not always, in the US. Like, like it, it's screwed up, man. If you're making a product, it should be everywhere, don't you think? I have a dream. I have a dream that these products should be everywhere. <laughs> Available for all. You're recording? Yep. No. The 1970s were admittedly a dark time for cocktail culture. I didn't f I f that up. Cocktail culture. Okay, here we go again. Take two. The 1970s were ad No hangers! I told you no hangers! <laughs> I don't need no stinking hangers. I got my golden dream. If you don't know what that reference is, too bad. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Check some other videos out. Maybe some uh, cream videos would be nice, you know. Mm. This is delightful. Seriously. Uh, make a golden dream. And uh, may all your dreams come true.